one of the oldest local craft breweries in the state. Um, the inception of the company, um, a little before 2012, um, the original brewer and um, Alan Musser, our owner, um, opened an operation in Moore, actually, where we started brewing. Um, what's really neat, our initial um, uh, brew house that we utilize, they found in Chicago, was actually built for a brew pub. Brought it down here for our operation. We've been brewing on it ever since 2012, up until last week when we opened our new brew house. And we've been on a pretty steady growth climb along with the local kind of Oklahoma craft brew scene um, for the longevity of up until now. Um, so it's been fun to be here basically from an inception to where now it's really a kind of a boom town for uh, local craft brews. So fun to be one of the first. It's awesome to see where it's going. And obviously we have to continue to be on our toes to move along with the, uh, the market itself and uh, the ever improving tastes of the consumers in the city. So we got our hands full, but we love it. And uh, it's kind of why we do what we do. You know, when we started, there were four to five breweries total. And now we're in the nature. There's, I believe there's between 30 and 35 breweries at this point within the state. So the growth has been crazy. And um, obviously with that growth has come a lot of um, kind of how do you how do you set yourself in the market as what do you make right what do you do that makes you unique in the space that makes someone decide hey I'd rather grab an anthem beer than the other when they're out looking or at a restaurant and trying to decide what they want to drink um, we've always had a pretty funny um, stance on what we produce from even from the beginning and that stance is totally we're, we're a bunch of people that love beer and we love to drink beer and we love to make beer that we like to drink so we have a wide variety of options that we do because we do like an assortment of styles. Our wheelhouse is a pretty um, drinkable, safe, you know, forward beer in that it's it's a it's a beer you can drink with anything at any time. Um, if you're the kind of person who has a few of them, you can do that real easily with these beers. Um, tons of flavor. They're also one what, what we love and what we do is you know our our slogan here at Anthem is we're. Uh, beers made on earth by humans and that's because we try to keep a very casual um, approachable non-pretentious approach to craft beer in general which has actually been our stance from the beginning because it can be an issue it's almost like you know any kind of wine snob or however you want to say it with craft beer the idea of the you know your standard kind of light to clear beer drinker thinks oh craft is kind of the snotty you know hoity-toity beer and that's never been our approach we just want to make great flavorful beer that people can like and drink and if you have a style you like, we'll probably make it. If we haven't made it yet, we probably will. But for us, I think what probably brings people back is that we do offer a beer that is pretty well-rounded and approachable to anybody. I'd say that's, that's where we're at. We, we make a non-pretentious, approachable, incredibly flavorful and well-made beer. I think the last 10, 10 or so years, I think everyone would agree it's a different city. Um, I think that that coincides definitely with entrepreneurship here. Um, new businesses. I mean, look around. It's amazing. You're looking at a thriving environment. The city's moving this direction. The city's moving all directions, but for us especially, it's coming this way. The sprawl is coming here in amazing ways, too. I mean, a you know, beautiful park coming in, uh, the film row right up the street, the district's exploding. Um, I think entrepreneurship's never been better. Um, it says a lot about not just business in general. Um, restaurants, yeah, we discuss. Um, obviously, right and left, they're up and down, but um, with craft brewing, I mean, craft brewing in Oklahoma, it's amazing. I mean, I said when we started, four to five craft breweries, and it was a, kind of a niche thing that was cool that, hey, someone's doing it here, and now it's a full blown, blown business where you can't really go, if you're in the city right now, especially a few blocks without hitting another five craft brewery tap room or a brewing facility itself. Um, it's kind of unbelievable, and I think that has to do with uh, the ability to do so in the, in the city. We all started from the same place. We started with one little one little brew house, making beer and hoping that we could get it in a restaurant to now serving the, the entire state uh, pretty handily, regardless of the industry. So I'd say because of the entrepreneurial spirit and the ability to do so here, we've taken advantage of it and we've been lucky to live in a place that allows that. And there's a bunch coming up behind us that will have the same and, and they're experiencing it and thriving in it now too. The beer drinking culture of Oklahoma City is, um, I am so, I'd say this, I'm very proud of it. Um, it's a, I think it's probably a place that started in a very typical American idea of, you know, uh, blue collar, you know, we drink, we drink clear, you know, macro level brewery beer 
on the regular, that's our home base. Um, I know even with us having approachable styles, we're still seen as craft beer, that's weird, that's odd. I mean, we're at the point now that, you know, there's breweries in the state that are making beers that are, uh, you know, distributed throughout the world that really push an envelope to a lot of degrees. And we make a lot of product too that I think for the common consumer, maybe kind of a, like maybe get them to the end of their comfort zone. Um, what I love though is that the culture here now, especially sitting in our tap room, you see people embrace new things constantly. Um, that's why you know we offer five core beers and several rotators seasonally, but we always offer very unique product that we only offer in the tap room to give people an experience that isn't. It's probably a little outside the box, push them a little bit more than what our standard product does. And what's fun is watching people choose that over the standard quite a bit of times in here, mostly just because of a new, having a new experience where they'll spend some time with those, they'll enjoy one, pick one or two, or they'll come back in and have those, and then always know they can fall back on what we always have. Uh, I would say probably five years ago, I don't think that'd be the same way still. I think, um, and the reason that that is, is purely for, for one fact that the availability of the product to enjoy and try is now here in the state where if you still want to support local craft, you want to try somebody different, you want to help out a new business or see what they're up to, um, and they do offer something that isn't um, in the zeitgeist that other people are working with, you'll have the opportunity to try it and then boom, you may love, you may have a new favorite beer, right? Next thing you know, you love what they do, you're trying it from other people locally and on a national level. Um, it's just, it's super amazing to watch the palette of who you grew up around and thinking you knew what beer was and it's one of three or four brands that is sold in the grocery store or at the gas station and now you've got options that uh, there's too much to even try so i think that that says a lot it's a, it's a great testament i would say i would put um i would put the craft community here up against probably any big market the portland's denver's asheville north carolina the beer the beer centric towns i i would say oklahoma city's beer drinker could slide right into any of those markets and be exactly where they are here. So uh, it's, it's pretty amazing for us. The future of Anthem is brighter than it's ever been. And we're, we're always very positive here. We have huge plans, always. Um, now with the new facility, with the freedom to have a little bit more time and ability to get a little more creative with some of the things that we always work off in small batches for ourselves that we can now kind of offer to everybody else in that. Um, our expectations very soon will be, um, with our new facility, we'll have the ability to make some really fun, interesting, completely off the cuff ideas for some different beer styles we haven't been able to offer yet. Um, the plan in here, in the tap room itself, is to offer a brand new beer style from us every week to every two weeks. So if you're a frequent visitor of our tap room, about weekly or every other week, we'll have something new for you to try. So you have all your same old staples, but we'll have something new every few weeks. And what's fun with that in our system is that it'll give an opportunity. If we have some home runs of that batch that people really love, it lets us know from a consumer standpoint who we really care about most on, on these issues. You know, we drink what we love, but we also make what our consumer loves as well. So if a style or two hits that we love, it'll give us the opportunity to decide to go larger batch with it and roll it out. So, It'll give us the opportunity to really expand. So that's super exciting.